Today we are going on another trip down memory lane and that is to recreate Andy's home from Toy Story. I love this series of films. They are such classics. They're always my feel good films. And I actually think it's gonna be really fun to recreate it in The Sims. We have a huge lot here. We're gonna do a big backyard. I'm gonna do lots of different Easter eggs from the movies. So let's just jump right in and see how this goes. Okay, so before we get started, I'm just looking at reference pictures now and I think I might try to do a mix of the two houses. So in the first movie, they actually move pretty early on. I think I want to do the exterior of the second house because that for me is just what I picture of Andy's house. But then I want to do the floor plan, floor plan of the first. To be honest, the reason why I want to do both houses is because I found a blueprint of Andy's house, the first house, that the little green army men drew when they were go when they went on their mission on uh, Andy's birthday to see what presents he was getting. And I really want to use that floor plan. But yeah, so that's why I'm gonna do that floor plan, but in the second house. I don't know, we'll figure it out. You know what, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually gonna be a really simple house to build in The Sims. This is, it's basically just like one big square and then one smaller square here for the garage. And that, that is it. That is it for the house structure. And there's literally four rooms downstairs and it's kind of sectioned off in like, in like a crisscross like this. That's it. And then even literally the top floor is just copy pasted. That's it, it's a box. I'm actually not sure about sizing though. So let me get in some stairs and some filler furniture and then let's see if this is even uh, gonna be too big or too small. So let's do the let's do the, the front. We're gonna start with a white door. I'm glad that we have some good lighting in this house. Oh wait, 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 wait. I just forgot we have another roof piece actually. We have on the ground floor, this little roof piece that frames the front door. Kind of like that, maybe a little lower. Okay, white door and red bricks. I think this red brick is perfect. That does the job instantly. And then we can, I think we have some trim that's in red. It's coming together. Okay, so we have the roofing in black. I've done this like gray trim cause it's not, it's kind of looks white actually. Um, we need green or white windows with green shutters, which we do have. White windows, green shutters, these. Do we have any others? Or are these also white windows, green shutters? Or are these ones? Okay, which ones do we think it is? Honestly, I feel like these ones feel a bit too cottage, cottage core. I think it's better to go with these windows that actually look uh, like they better fit into the style of the house. Cute. And then I realize I probably will need to bring this down a little because we have a semicircle uh, window right in the middle. Could just do this one from cats and dogs. I like that shape. I'm just gonna scatter a few other windows around the side of the building, even though we don't actually know yet where all of the rooms, where the windows are in relation to the rooms. For the garage, so we could either use terrain paint to raise it, which I think I'm kind of tempted to do. We gotta get a green that matches the uh, shutters. Oh, that's perfect. This base game one actually does the job really well. And then frame it with some white pillars. We're just gonna use these ones there and there. There's no, there's no window on it, although I'm kind of tempted to do a small window. What if we were to do small windows all along the top? I feel like that just helps make it look so much more like a realistic garage. Let me try with some terrain. I'm so bad at terrain, but let me try. Oh my God, I don't feel like that's a disaster. It's a little uneven. Wait, I actually think this might work. Okay, so then we can just take some gray terrain paint or we could do rocks actually. How should we do it? Let's try, or we could do gravel. Ooh, I kind of like the gravel. And then it kind of goes across like, <gasps> yay! I never do lines this straight. Okay, then we're basically just taking these hedges and lining them along the front. We got a little bit of landscaping just by the front. And I've noticed there's actually like a plumbing, there's a pipe along the right side of the building, which we do have a drain pipe and we can stretch that across. We have one tree out the front, but then we have quite a lot of trees in the back. So let's place the fencing first and then we can do the garden. Okay, I'm just filling up the lot with trees and I actually love this uh, cottage living Deba grass area. It's basically just a random grass patch. Okay, I'm just working on the back garden. I don't know if there's any specific interesting thing about this back garden here. I know there's interesting stories about the next door's garden. There is one where they sneak across. No, you know what? Because I don't know what house 
that scene is from. Let's just do some random stuff. So we might do, maybe let's do some laundry down here. Let's do maybe some swings and we'll do some just kids toys scattered around and then maybe a, a seating area in the middle. <gasps> There's a clouds one. Oh my God. It's clouds is synonymous with Toy Story for me. So we're definitely going with the clouds one. Also thought this could be really cute to have a little undercover area for the table. And then yeah, maybe just some outdoor planters. We actually have a little bit of space now on this side. So I'm gonna do this from, what is this, Seasons. All right, we're given major family vibes out here. We have barbecue, swing sets. We have seating area, very, lots of family activities. We have planters. I'm now gonna get some toys, balls maybe and scatter them around. Ooh, water balloon bucket. Let's do this over here. Okay, that is the exterior of the house finished. All right, moving on inside is not going to be as easy because we are we are working with two different picture reference pictures and two different floor plans. So, I'm going to start I think with this hallway which looks like it's a light wood. This reference picture is light wood flooring and then white and red walls. Actually, it's it's really fun wallpaper. Kind of looks like Christmas trees on the wallpaper. Found it. I found it. Oh my god, it's perfect. I did not actually think we would have this white and red wallpaper, but we do. This is actually um, base game. Okay, then in the lounge, it is this same kind of wallpaper, but with a green, which we don't have. So let me just, oh, oh no, 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 not with the dinosaurs. Yes, yes, it's this. It's this, it is absolutely perfect. So let's get some, some doors then. They are just plain white doors. Uh, let's get maybe these ones. Oh wait, also I've just seen another reference picture and their car is blue. So, okay, the kitchen is very interesting. And I think that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do the interior of this house because the kitchen is white walls, nice and simple, but the flooring is a yellow and green tile. So it's actually kind of like a blue like this combined with, honestly, like a slightly yellower version of that. Oh, wait, okay, that is one option. Never ever thought I would ever use this flooring, but here we are. That is actually the perfect uh, color palette, but it's not in that, in those geometric shapes, but that might be the, yeah, I think that's gonna be the best that we're gonna find. It does not look like a kitchen. This wallpaper and flooring combination just really, <laughs> it is not going to look like a kitchen, I don't think. Um, well, maybe having like the appliances that might help i feel like the the fact that you know this house is so colorful we could actually embrace it and do a really let's do that yellow yellow fridge i think let's go all in with the colors okay you know what could be fun because we have quite a bit of space is actually turning this into an island but like this way and then we can do some some stools i think that could be fun you know i kind of like it with the wood tones i do feel like we need i need to bring in some more warmth in here so i feel like that those wood tones really do help it out maybe instead of the Bright blue, I'm just gonna do white so that they don't stand out too much. Um, okay, let me just add in a couple of appliances and then we can add in all the clutter. Okay, it is all cluttered up, I think. I think it's good. We could go super messy in this house and add a bunch of stuff, but no, I think just a couple of family pieces of clutter. Uh, like I love this detail here with the newspaper and the glasses, some cups. We have this basket here of some just kids toys if they want to uh, grab things before they go outside. Somewhere on the shelf here or on the walls, either shelves or the parenting. Um... Okay, I'm actually gonna do that on this side. Done. Okay, so that is our kitchen finish. I'm gonna use use this now as a springboard for the rest of the house. So kind of family clutter, but colorful. Okay, I'm gonna start off with these wall dividers and I think I'm gonna use these from the new Growing Together kit pack because they actually are the perfect kind of shape to have that kind of rounded edge for a room. I kind of like how that separates it. Let's do the dining table, see how big we want that to be. Let's go with a light wood and then maybe some colorful chairs could be fun. Ooh, wait, that's kind of fun. These are also growing together. I don't think they were meant for each other. Oh no, th this was growing together, sorry. Yeah, the, the table, I mean, we could also do these though or have those at the end. 
Oh my God, yeah, that's amazing. I love the wood tones, how they match, but then they also kind of clash with the table. I think that's kind of fun. Um, okay, let's get a centerpiece, maybe some candles and a plant. Okay, cute, I like that. And then I actually think we kind of do need a window in here. We can do a window right at the center. I think it would be too much to have books, a wall of books directly behind, considering the wall um, is books right in front. So we could do maybe two pieces of artwork. I think the tiny living ones would be really fun. Yes, these, just gonna do them in here. To be honest, we could do them in the plants. Let's do those. We're gonna just do um, these plants and then I'm gonna take the, I've been using this a lot. I love this one. This is also growing together. Okay, then I'm unsure about a carpet, but let's move on to the lounge. We actually need a door, but I'm, I was undecided about whether to do the door there or there. So I'll do it for both for now. We are gonna do a fireplace on this side in, maybe that one's kind of nice actually in an orangey wood. Then there is a green sofa, which I'm kind of tempted to use the really cheap green sofa because it just looks so plushy. Yeah, I think I think we will. It's kind of diagonal like this. And then we have an armchair in, I know it. Actually, I have no reference pictures for this. I've got no clue. Maybe a red to bring in the red from the hallway. Let's do red or that blue again. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah, let's do red. I was finding some others like this is Dream Home Decorator. That also kind of works. But I feel like it's a bit dark. Whereas this, this one with the blanket feels very cozy. Let's, let's do this one. I might just do a plain cream one, a plain beige one like this in a warmer shade. That's a very safe option. Maybe a bit too safe. I prefer that one. That one looks softer. This one ties in the red, the greens, the blues. That one's quite nice. I also kind of like this though. It, there's also red, blues, and yellows, but it just kind of deepens it. It's not so bright. This one feels a bit cozier to me. So it's it's between this one or a plain cream. I'm kind of leaning towards the plain cream. We're gonna do it because there's not really any, apart from the flooring here, there's not really any crazy prints. So I feel like maybe it's just slightly out of the comfort zone. Then I think we can do a table behind here and put some clutter on it. I actually really like how this is coming together and it's looking very, very cozy. And then on this side, we're gonna do the TV. Of course, we're gonna do this one. There you go, right in the middle. And I really hope we have space for a coffee table. I think that would just close off this area really nicely. Ooh, this one though. This one matches, there's a lot of wood tones in here but this one at least brings in the wood that we've gone within the dining room and it brings it into the living space i quite like that actually um okay then we can do some more clutter here but then we need something for this side and i'm thinking we do one of the uh this one the um this music thing i feel like just it's good for the times oh wait hang on no i like it behind even do it in the lighter wood shade actually yeah much better. Okay, so we're gonna do this, uh, the mu uh, the radio behind, and then here we can do, what did, I, what did I do with the table? We can do this table, or we could do another bookshelf. Ooh, that could be good. Yeah, and then we could just have it aligned with the coffee table. That is actually not bad. We could also do the um, this one, just push it in a little bit. We could do this and just push it in. Would probably suggest doing it in a darker shade. Actually, let's do that one. I do like this bookshelf but we could do this. Ooh, I've got it. Size it down and just squeeze that in. Oh my God, perfect. All right, we're gonna move on to some clutter now. I'm just adding this light in the lounge. Okay, we got some stacks of books, which I'm going to just kind of stack on top of each other. We got some cute little plants as well. We can get these up. Let's get this one up here. Yes, let's do a mirror just above there in the light wood, perfect. I'll scatter just a few toys around here as well. The clutter with the recent kit is actually so good for this build. I just have some, we have this phone and a lunchbox. We have this little coin jar, which is really cute. <gasps> Look at this little spaceship plate. Oh, that is so cute. So many fun swatches actually of this object that I never use. All right, the hallway is all cluttered. I added a couple more things to the table. This is done. We've, done, we've got the backpacks. We've got some books scattered around. Okay, so let's move on to the bathroom. It would be really helpful if we could squeeze in a shower in here so then we don't have to put in two upstairs because there's quite a lot of space in this bathroom. Let's get out a bunch of bathroom stuff. I love that now we have a good kit that I can just 
grab all of the stuff from. Everything in one section. Ooh, perfect. The blue and the green match as well. Even matches the towels. All done. Okay, keep it really simple and not overly cluttered. That is the downstairs complete. I think we actually can't even access this garage right now. I think in the garage, we are going to have it ac be accessed from this uh, patio here. Just adding some random boxes to our garage and then I think that is the downstairs done. Very colorful, happy family home. Come on upstairs and we have two bedrooms, three bedrooms, three bedrooms that we got to do. Let me actually quickly bring the bathroom furniture upstairs. Um, I'm just going to duplicate it. All right, so I have gone ahead and done the parents room. I've finished the bathrooms. I just uh, duplicated the furniture so we actually have showers in all of the bathrooms which is good so in the parents room I've split it so that they have a wardrobe walk-in wardrobe from their bedroom just gone with like a yellow neutral color palette they have this ottoman with some clothes on it bookshelves either side and then they're the wardrobe with a vanity um, in the middle they also have a TV in their bedroom oh wait and also the hallway I've added just a little cozy corner with an armchair this lamp and this really pretty runner which is from seasons and i've never used before but these last two swatches are really really pretty this is the first swatch so we have two bedrooms left to do i think we'll start with molly's bedroom i have a reference picture but it's not going to be very helpful it's very small but it looks like i think we're just gonna because it's quite a big room we're gonna separate it so that she has a walk-in wardrobe as well and then her bed is kind of here and it sticks out and then there is a cabinet with some clutter, radio. We have a lunchbox, I think. The bed is also a little more purple, so I'm kind of in Mm, it's not so light pink. Maybe the bed is more like this, actually. We have a little box that she's going through with sunny side. She's putting all of her, I imagine, she's putting all of her toys in the sunny side box. Okay, perfect. Now let's filter by purple and pink. And I'm just gonna add a bunch of purple and pink clutter. Okay, this is gonna be the closest to one of those radios that we, or stereo, sorry, that we are going to get. So we're gonna have to make do with this one. Okay, all cluttered. We have just some random things, nail polish, we have a lamp and some more toys on the floor. And then I've added some random stuff to her desk as well. Okay, awesome. That is Molly's room done. Now to our last room, the, the moment that we've all been waiting for. I've been so excited for this. Andy's room actually is a pretty accurate layout. So we have his bed on the left side and a bedside table and then his toy box, which is underneath. And then on this side, we have a desk. Actually, let's start with the bed first. So the bed is blue. <gasps> Has to be this bed. It's supposed to be a plain blue, but I think it, I don't think we have a choice. It has to be this one. And then there's a round red lamp on top, which I think I'm just gonna take one of my custom content ones, one of these in red like that, size that down, perfect. Obviously a bunch of clutter on the floor. We will get to that though. And then in the corner here, there's kind of a similar table, but maybe a little lower. Let's use this one. And then we can put a TV on top of it. And then this is where the desk goes and the desk is red with another set of bookshelves here. And then there is a blue swirly chair, which kind of looks like this. <gasps> no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It looks like this one. Perfect. That's it. That is, that's pretty much the furniture. We also have some blinds, which I forgot to do in the other rooms. All right, now the fun part is to absolutely fill every inch of surface with clutter and stuff on the walls books, toys, there's a guitar. We have a dartboard on the back of the door, which I have to put in. We don't have a particularly great version, so I'm just gonna do this one. I cannot believe how much stuff he has on his walls. There's barely a single crack in the walls of space. Okay, well, we are nearly there. We're finding some really good things. Okay, all finished. Now we, we need a lot of floor clutter, but I think a good place to start for that is the parenthood and the, I think it's high school years where they have the pre-made um, clutter on the floor. Yes, here it is. 
this one and this one. So we can just kind of distribute this stuff randomly. All right, lots of toys in every possible surface. We're gonna have another toy box there. Maybe this is Buzz Lightyear. Do we have it in green? We do, it's Buzz. Okay, we need a Woody. We need a Woody. Oh my God, look what we have here. It's Bullseye. Please tell me we have a potato in the game. We must have a potato. A group of baked potatoes or a jar of sweet potatoes. Of puree. Oh no, not quite what we want. It's gonna look so random just to have a bunch of potatoes up here. Maybe the clay. Let's see if I can fake a potato. Uh, we can maybe do a lump of clay. Oh my god, we definitely can. It's Mr. Potato Head. I think he's probably so offended. There's Mr. Potato Head. Who else do we have here? This is starting to feel more like Andy's room now. I'm getting, I'm getting his personality. All right, I think we're done. I've added just some bottles onto his bedside table, but I think that's our finished Andy's room. I really wish that we had a Woody toy, like a cowboy reference even would be good. All right, friends, that's it. We're finished with our, our Toy Story build. So that is our finished Toy Story build. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love taking trips down memory lane. So if you have any other um, movies that you grew up with, then I'd love to uh, try to recreate them in The Sims. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.